go. Five uh, arms, six, chin is down. Roll seven, eight, you pass the floor if you can get up by two. Yes. Pass through, seven, eight, one, show me. Two, travel, go. <laughs> I think the greatest thing you can be, and this is, isn't just about dancing, the greatest thing you can be in this world for me is a teacher. Um, and, and I don't think in, on any level we teach uh, teachers, and we should. Um, I don't think we respect teachers as much as we should. You know, if you go back to other ages and in the Greek time you know you would get Pythagoras and you would get all of these wonderful teachers there all ready to talk to you and and they were fated and they were the greatest people in their societies now teachers sort of wander into teaching if they're not successful in the job that they want to do they become a teacher the amount of kids that I see on here that you know uh, are not good dancers and you say well what do you do in life and oh I'm a teacher and you go, this is crazy. What are you going to teach somebody because you don't know yourself? So somehow I think we have to change the, the whole way society looks on teachers in every area. Uh, but particularly in dance, there needs to be some form of uh, accreditation. There needs to be some governing body that says, yes, this is an A-list teacher. And you can feel safe bringing your child here or bringing yourself here. Because there's so many injuries can be done, especially in breakdancing. If I started breakdancing now, I would break my neck. And that's why it would be called breakdancing, you know?